Hey guys, what is up? This is Marty from Nintendo Dads back one more time with another new Let's Play video today for the highly anticipated Starlink Battle for Atlas. We're going to be checking out the Nintendo Switch edition and I did get the physical copy of this that came with the R-Wing and uh, Star Fox Pilot uh, option. The other uh, systems that are out there come with an extra weapon and don't have the extra pilot. I'm glad I got the one I did. So we're going to go right in here and uh, I'm going to take you through actually what happens at the start of the game. Um, and so if you'll give me just a second here, uh, I got to realize that I'd play, I need to play it on a different account to show you the start of the game. We're going to get a look at what happens when you plug in these characters and uh, the or the character and the ship for the first time. But uh, as this boots up, I, just let me say, this is an open world space shooter role playing game. Uh, and I don't know if uh, in your mind how those things mesh together. I don't know that they mesh together in my mind before I played this game, but uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. The game comes, uh, the, the whole package comes with uh, the mount, which is the controller grip. Uh, but also allows the toys to interact with the game. It comes with two weapons, two pilots, and the R-Wing, uh, and a poster as well. And so far, guys, uh, I'm just going to tell you, my, my impressions of, these, of this game are, are very, very good. Um, lots of exploration, also lots of combat uh, to, to engage in. But let's dive right in here and uh, show you how this game works. So we're going to come up to the title screen here. We're going to, it's going to load up some save data. Of course, it's probably not going to find any uh, right now for us because on this file, there is not uh, anything going on. So we're going to start a new game right there. At the very beginning, you can see one of the ships that you can use. It's got the, uh, the, the ice missiles already attached to it. Uh, so let's start a new game. We'll go with normal. And the first thing that it's going to tell you to do after it kind of loads up here is it's going to tell you to attach the Joy-Cons to, uh, to the Starlink mount. The mount is basically just a uh, glorified controller grip. Uh, it also has um, uh, a little bit of electronics in there that uh, cause the, the, you know, it to recognize uh, the ships that are being used and different things like that. Although I'm not entirely sure how it does that. Uh, but you'll notice here, it's telling me to attach the mount. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click the Joy-Cons in. And immediately it recognizes the Joy-Cons are in. Here are the pilots that you have, including all the pilots you're going to be able to play in the game. Of course, those are locked. Uh, we can toggle uh, locked parts as well as show them. And I'm going to slide Fox into the slot here on the front of this controller mount. And uh, I want you to watch what happens when I do this. It's really cool. <laughs> Love it. Uh, the animation and, and the, the cutscenes and even the voice acting on this game, guys, are just really, really good. Now it's going to tell you to attach a ship. Uh, you could use Mason Rana's ship, who is the other pilot. You can see him, uh, you know, in the original lineup. Or there's the R-Wing, which is the one that we got. Uh, the cool thing about this is that once you plug the, uh, the R-Wing in here, there is a little tab on there that inserts into a part in the controller mount. That's what talks back and forth with the game. But there's also a cutout that slides over your figure that uh, you can look through and it makes them actually look like they're in the cockpit of the ship. The ship's thrusters in the back also light up when it's been connected to the controller. So we're just going to connect the R-Wing and uh, click that in right there. And there you go. You can see it. Uh, we've got the R-Wing in. It's beautifully rendered. Um, you can see all the details there. It looks fantastic. And you'll notice that we have laser cannon. Uh, those are the, uh, the, you know, kind of the, the standard issue um, weapon for the R-Wing. They can be charged up just like in Star Fox. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, just go to B. We're going to hit resume because we're done. We're ready to go. And so we're going to 
dive right into the story. After making contact with an alien that crashed on Earth, astrophysicist Victor St. Grand secretly recruited a team of pilots to explore the stars. He named the alien Judge and called the team the Starlink Initiative. Atlas is the, uh, the name of the star system that you'll be exploring. Aboard their Nova-powered mothership, the team arrives in the Atlas star system seeking answers about Judge's origins. And that's where the story picks up. You'll be able to tell as the story goes on that uh, the Star Fox, um, the Star Fox scenes were added in, <laughs> but it's uh, as I said on our podcast uh, when I was talking about this game, uh, it really feels like the story was written with with Star Fox in, Star Fox's inclusion in mind. Uh, it doesn't seem like there'd be anything taken away by him being gone, but it also doesn't feel forced and and you know kind of hacked in. Uh, or anything like that. that. So right here in the beginning, we're going to introduction to the characters. There's Chase, there's Levi, there's St. Grand, there's Judge. I love, I love Judge's design. He looks really cool. (laughs) Scans up, St. Grand. It's incredible. I can't believe you've been doing this for a whole year. Our third trip hasn't gotten old yet. It was Alkiani last, now Atlas. The artifact we're collecting here might just be the breakthrough we need. We're closer than ever now. I know it. Proximity warning. And that proximity warning is going to be your first taste of combat in this... uh, this game, you're going to be introduced to the Legion, like who are um, basically a, a seri- like a, an army of robots that are controlled by someone. Do you have it? Yeah, but these guys don't like it when you steal from them. Sensitive types. Could use a little help here. She's not going to make it. Get to the Equinox. We're coming. I'll man the bridge. Judge, take Mason with you to the hangar. We need to buy time for me to jumpstart the engine. Are you sure? Maybe I should help you in the reactor. They've never used Starlink before. Go show them what it can do. Take my ship. You're ready. Okay. cool part about this game I think is that uh, a lot of the designs for the ships the the auxiliary ships or the ships for the rest of the team actually look really cool and once you see them you kind of end up going hmm you know I might want that at some point and the the ship toys are also uh, articulated that like the blue foils on the the, uh, our wing move and can be positioned to do different you know to to be in different positions Uh, so it's it's pretty cool Um, I didn't I, I I hate to say, but I didn't expect the quality uh, there because Toys to Life has seemed, you know, like the bubble has burst uh, in a way. But I have to admit that this is a really cool concept and having the the ship on your controller as you're playing, even though there are no motion controls, um, it's all controlled through the sticks, uh, is actually pretty cool. And so we're going to get into our first dogfight in space right here. And and don't worry, you're not just going to be in space. And there's Fox. Yeah, they're gonna come along and help, but it's not just Fox. That's the cool part about it. You boys seeing this? Yeah, but it's not Wolf, so who cares? It looks like they're outnumbered. You know what I'm thinking. Absolutely, <sighs> positively not. We came here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to take down. I love the fact that they actually managed to get the real voice actors, or or have the real voice uh, actors doing it. They should have, that they cared enough to do that. Again, the animation is really, really nice. Uh, this, I, I've, I've heard people say that this is the Star Fox game that everyone was wanting in the beginning. Uh, so let's let's do a little gameplay here. We've got L to move, uh, including by holding forward to fly forward. Uh, we're heading to that yellow point there. R moves you around. 
We're Star Fox. We thought you could use a hand with these pumps. If you want to go a little bit faster, you can press A for a boost. We could use a few extra ships. And hold Team, it down. You You've got a blue boost Same meter there. And yeah, we've got some. All headed to the same place. We may not have much of a choice. Okay, looks like we've got a few more wingmates. All right, we got Hang one on, of them. We're on our way. Follow those red arrows. Right. It is. Uh, it, it harkens back a lot to the space battles that you have already done uh, against Star Wolf in Star Fox 64 and Star Fox Zero, except without all the having to look at the you know the Wii U gamepad. Target's destroyed. Just charge it up here and see what happens. Got him. Another one. Not fast enough. Check this out. And you also keep in mind that you have, you'll notice you've got hit points there coming out of those ships. Uh, so there's your art, part of your RPG element uh, to this game as well. Um, but also, you, you know, you've got, you got left and right. Um, weapons that you use the uh, left trigger and the right trigger for. Hey, Grant, how's it going down there? I'm almost there. Tell them to hang on a few minutes longer. Breach in reactor hull. Everyone, back to the ship. The reactor's been breached. On our way. Just. One more left. Saint Grand. And so what's going to happen here is that you are being grounded. You are heading toward this, the planet's surface now, uh, forcibly <laughs> heading toward the planet's surface. And that's going to introduce the, the next part of the game, no, 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 pretty no. much. And just like that, your adventure oh. begins through the, in the world of Starlink. And you're on this unnamed planet. Your R wing is <laughs> upside down. All units, report in. Boys, I'm here. I survived. Do you read me? I repeat, the Equinox has crashed. All pilots picked up. Nothing's getting through. All this interference. Press B to recover, oh, and you are now uh, basically uh, <laughs> just a landmaster tank floating above the um, the surface of the planet. But at least things are pretty to look at, right? So we'll head over to this ne next objective. And it's very snappy. It moves pretty fast. Ah. You want to dance. Enemy analysis complete. So recommended weapons are the flamethrower. So that actually comes with the, uh, the the game when you buy it. So I'm actually going to try that. So we'll go back and we'll snap that onto one of the wings. And you'll notice that came on. And uh, I would say they're definitely very susceptible to that. Go ahead a little bit more no here. Way out. Looks like that ship, the Equinox. 
Ah, haha. A Cyclops, and he is susceptible to Frost Barrage, so we're going to snap that on the other wing. And uh, when we come back, you'll see that come up in the game. And we're going to hit him with that first. And then we're going to hit him with that for a Thermal Shock, which is uh, a way that the game has of allowing you to be able to string together combos for the, uh, for the weapons which I think is a pretty neat concept. You asked for and a pretty intuitive way of teaching you to do it right there. You're the last one to report in, but I never doubted you for a second. Beppy, everyone okay? Fox, is it? Well, we were ambushed. Whoever attacked us kidnapped our captain during the battle. We appreciate your help, though. Well, they're not going to get away with that. Come on, let's go get them. We can't. Those freaks who took St. Grand also stole our reactor. There's a backup, but until we get more fuel, we're not going anywhere. Hmm. Gotta be something we can do here. Maybe there is. I rigged our tech with their ship. Check out your map. Press select to see or minus to see the star map. Everything within the scan radius. The rest of the planet's uncharted territory for now. Razor, I am picking up an alien signal nearby. You think someone's out there? Worth checking out. Feel free to give the map a spin. Not much to it now, but once we explore more of this place, it'll definitely come in handy. You'll notice over on the left, there's spires, ruins, wrecks, wonders, as well as species and sites and samples to gather. So there is a lot of content to this game, even already. We don't know so let's hold there. A to boost and let's get out. Uh, let's get across these thing dudes. That's out there. And we can't fly yet, but yeah, if you jump and hold down, old, press B to jump, hold down the jump button, you can hover if you have blue, uh, your blue bar built up. In, in a way, uh, if you guys remember how uh, the old N64 Star Wars Episode One pod racing felt. This feels very similar kind of with the speed and, and quickness at which you go Let's over the so. terrain. Go say hi. We'll be here if you need it. Hold the talk. Oh, good. You're back. Wait, you're not thicket. Now, oh, where's my assistant when you need him? The name's Fox. I'm looking for some fuel and figured you might be able to help. Hmm? Oh, sorry. My missing assistant has me all flustered. You haven't seen a squat, leafy fellow wandering around, have you? No, but maybe we can help each other out. And so this uh, opens up, the, I guess, the main gameplay of Starlink. Right here, you'll you'll find people all around the planet. You can offer them help. You can bring them things they're looking for. You can go on missions for I them. In this one, we are going to go and destroy an imp hive uh, looking for Stars a thicket. And so we'll do that one, and that'll be the end of this Let's Play oh, nice. for now. But let's actually go well, and, and take a look. Actually, where I want to end is when we're able to go yeah. into space, hey, so just so that I can show you that, anyway. because it's really we're looking cool. looking for someone named Wolf. Uh, He's caused a lot of trouble back on Corneria. And now, the bills do. Don't worry, boys. Once we get off this planet, we're going to smoke him out and make him pay. And these are like uh, little well, after we get the like citadels or, or things like that that you can uh, take over. And, <laughs> you know, you run, I guess run the enemies out of. And uh, you'll it'll put up a banner for you for the Starlink team, and you'll be able to to mine things from here and get special things from here. Um, didn't actually find that out until I got to my second planet. So let's just go ahead and do that. It's not the uh, mission that we're asked to do, but that's okay. And you'll notice, you know, here, your, your weapons... You can use them, but it does take some time to recover. That must not be all the enemies. Nope. 
press A to dodge to do a quick side dodge, you know, like a, a strafing dodge. And the aiming is not all that accurate. Like you don't have to be right on them to uh, to, to to get to hit them, which can be a blessing in some ways. All right. So are they up here? Oh, let's take a look. The ships also have a tow beam that you can use to uh, pick up different things, like these canisters. A lot of these canisters you can just blow up, and uh, some of them you can get different uh, different things out of, like these uh, heat corrupted Nova. Use ice on them, you're going to get that. But then you'll have to take it somewhere, so. We don't really want to mess with that right now. Just want to see if there's any other enemies, because this was supposed to turn into a base. Oh well. Just wanted to show you guys that, show you what it did. Let's go over here to where we're supposed to be. Let's go to this imp hive. One thing you can do also here is... Uh, You can scan these these beasts uh, and and learn a little bit more about them uh, by going all the way around them. You have to scan them. Um, I, on another planet, I did like yeah, this one too will be three times. And I'm gonna guess that some of them are are hostile and less happy about being scanned. Once I do that one, now I've got to find another one to scan. And who knows where that is, right? find him eventually. Find him somewhere else. On another playthrough. In my game I'm already past this planet. I'm not even at it. There is the Imp Hive and you'll notice it has those uh, those red bulbs. You're going to want to you're going to want to target those and you're going to want to hit those. But there are going to be uh, different types of enemies popping up here to, uh, to distract you during that doesn't mean you can't use the uh, missiles just means they're not going to be as effective in fact you should use the missiles because you're going to need them wonderful got uh, 500 XP for that and we got some some stuff Oh, and uh, so, scorching ammo, the efficiency Nova. amplifier, the regen booster. Where did you say you were from? Well, these are all mods that can be applied to your ship and be have different things uh, going with them. Well, the only way to get Nova here is to salvage the core from an extractor. But uh, well, it should appear on your map. All right, the core will be on my map. Interesting. And now that we have helped this observatory, our visibility on the planet has increased. There's yeah, so you're going to want to help those Looks observatories like as you go through the different Word things, of warning. different planets that you run into. And Before my time, they well, I understand that there are a lot of different planets to go to. They defend themselves the cool thing space. about this is but that unlike Skylanders and other Toys to Life models enough. in the past, you can the do this entire game Big with just ahead. what comes oh, yes. in the starter the kit. If you want to buy the other stuff, great. If not, then that's okay too. And what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to take out those minor towers around it so that the, uh, the, the middle will open up and you'll be able to blast it. So we're actually going to be looking for that. And they're going to attack us too, which is always fun, right? And you're going to have these different things attacking you. Uh, you're going to have the Cyclops that's coming after you as well. I believe this first time you're only going to need to take down one of these. Maybe I'm wrong. No. Okay. So now we're going to get around here. We're going to hit the extractor and dodge those going to shoot these lasers. They're going to. They're going to mess you up as well. So. Um, 
We're just going to pound away at the, at the core here as quick as we can before it closes up. And then we're going to try to uh, maneuver around. I'm going to kill a couple of these Cyclopses right here. All right. The nodes are reactivating. And You'll we're just going to gonna do this. The and yeah, those protection towers have opened up because they're attacking. You don't want to be in the way of that laser. Not a good thing. As long as you keep strafing around it, though, you should be you should be good, and you can just pound away at it. And yeah, everything will be just fine. And that's going to open up the middle. And we're going to go back, and we're going to start getting that core again. And we're not going to get hit by the lasers this time. Yeah. And you just, I mean, just get over here and just jam on the shoulder buttons as fast as you can. <laughs> Those extractor lasers are quite the menace. Be sure to jump over them if you can. And we're going to have to go one last round, even though we're so close. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of him. Uh, yeah, we got all three cores in effect this time. Here's a tip. Do not want to get caught between two of those. So just take on one from the outside at a time. You'll see them, they'll kind of, you know, start coming after you with the lasers. But if you'll just take care of one like this, it'll make your job a lot easier. It, it, yeah, it's not going to open up for one, so you're going to have to take out at least two. Stay away from the lasers. Hit it especially with the uh, thermal weapon, and you should be good to go. You're like me, and you just walk right into it. That's that's tough. All right, it's lowering its guard. Let's go around to the core, and we're just gonna blow this real quick. And there we go, extractor destroyed. And from that, you're gonna get a Nova core, and you're gonna find out that Nova is kind of the, uh, I guess, one of the central parts of the game. You're gonna have to actually pull this out of the middle by uh, plucking it and then getting within these constraints while it pulls out. And then we're going to head back to the ship, which is actually farther than you thought it was. If only we could. Sadly, while there is plenty of Electrum to be found, no one knows how to refine it. So the only Nova left is inside those machines. And well... We're not all as brave as you are. Why? I wonder if St. Grant knows about this. What, what I want to do is I want to get I'll back to the, he learned to the ship Nova. just so here. that I can show you what it's oh, like to go into space. Nova? Uh, it adds a different command you to so? your ship after Knowledge they fix your, the I guess, system. interplanetary drive or whatever it's called. Missing? And by holding That's down the here. R button, you'll be able to fly on planets, but you'll also be able to angle the nose of your ship up and actually go into space, which is really cool. Means also means that you can go down into uh, planets anytime you want to as well. Bring this back to friend Carl. Oh, you're back. Deliver item. Okay. Here's that core. Outstanding. Extracting the Nova should take just a moment. Hmm. I'll need to arrange for a replacement. Huh? Well, you have a captain to find, don't you? A captain that can make Nova no less. Your crew could use a local expert, and I'm not too shabby in a fight either. This isn't my crew, so you gotta ask them. Maybe they'd be open to it. I don't know. Then it sounds like a sabbatical is in order. I will meet you there. Just have to find that darn assistant. <laughs> so it looks hey like Carl yeah, is coming you. with us. Heading back now. Nice work. See you soon. Man, these guys have the best snacks. And as usual, Chef's Slippy is an idiot. You'll get all sleepy. We gotta be wide awake if we're gonna catch Wolf. Oh, Almost there. That means you're running good. to a rock. Once we get the Nova loaded, we should be good to go. And then we find St. Grant. That's right. Yeah, unless he's... Almost you know. there. Levi, what the heck? What? I hope he isn't. I'm just saying. Don't worry, he's our captain. We won't let him down. 
I'm here. How do I transfer your fuel? Open your ship's computer. You should be able to launch the repair sequence from the Equinox screen. Equinox upgrades. Let's upgrade that core system. Yep. Spin drive has been restored. Nice. If we find any more goodies around here, maybe we can upgrade the Equinox even more. Until then, let's see if this works. Until then, we are going to this space. This was a precision strike. They must have tracked our core through the hall. Well, this isn't And just for time's sake, I'm going to skip this because, hey, sure. you don't want the whole story ruined, but right? Mason's Flight capabilities restored. Flight capabilities have been nice. restored. All right, your flight engines are restored. And so now, your search box. Not so they're fast. up there. I've been Guess thinking where about we're going. Mason said back there. We should work together. Something tells me we're going to need more manpower, and same goes for you guys. So what do you say? Uh, yeah, I think it's a great idea. Let's talk it over at the Equinox. Actually, once you're here, I'd like to get a closer look at your ship myself. All right, so let's uh, head to the Equinox. How about that? So now we can fly over the surface of the planet. Just like we're doing right now. Or we can actually head up. I'm waiting for my marker to come back here. Alright. Let's just let's just head up. And there we go. Space, glorious space. The planet that we were just on, below us, you can see other planets around the system that we will definitely go to, other ships as well. But we are heading right now to the Equinox, and we're also heading toward the end of this video. Guys, this is Starlink for Nintendo Switch. I highly recommend it. I think it's great for parents and kids alike if you are looking for a fun game to play with your kids. It can be co-op too. You can you can play this uh, with another mount and another um, another ship, uh, but only in TV mode. Which you know there are some limitations, but that's okay. Um, it's out right now. It's produced by Ubisoft, who knocked it out of the park with her, uh, Mario and Rabbids, and they've knocked it out of the park again with another collaboration from Nintendo. You need to uh, to go and check this game out. If the toys aren't the thing for you, then you can download a digital edition uh, that's almost the same cost as the physical starter pack via the Nintendo eShop that has everything, everything that you could possibly want from this game uh, already. Uh, and all the ships, all the pilots, all the weapons, all those things are included. You don't even need the toys to play. Uh, again, highly recommended. I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough video. It's a little bit longer than normal, but I wanted to show you a lot of the ways that the game plays and different things like that. My name is Marty. I hope that you keep it locked right here at Nintendo Dads and check out our podcast every week as well. For the rest of the guys, bye-bye.